What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Final Destination 6 in this video here again today. Also going over a little tidbit about the upcoming Radio Silence horror film at Universal Pictures as well. And sharing a small theory about Scream 7. Very brief. So just start off with Final Destination 6. Final Destination 6, uh, the Marcus Dunstan screenplay. I want to go over the ending with you all here in this video and I chose Mother's Day for a very specific reason you'll find out when you hear the ending so we know if you recall in my last video going over Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton's first responder concept for Final Destination 6 that ultimately it was scrapped we're not getting that we're getting whatever guy Busick and the other co-writer about to give us for the upcoming Final Destination 6 with a woman named Stephanie and a premonition related to her grandmother for now is named Esther so in Marcus Dunstan's Final Destination 6, if you recall, in my last video, I revealed that Vanessa would have been our lead focus, a woman named Vanessa. She's an EMT who recently returned to her role after taking some time off after her trainee, Gina, is killed on site during a call. A drug addict named Jackson actually shot Gina and took off running and was never caught. Now, Vanessa is ready to return to work after some time passes, and her first call is regarding this underground tunnel collapse. That would have been our opening premonition that Vanessa ultimately ends up preventing. As the story progresses, we find out that, the mo that a motorcyclist called caused this tunnel collapse after a near miss hit from a truck and the twist is that the cyclist was the same drug addict that killed Gina. So after Vanessa and the other survivors find out and realize that the druggie should have stayed dead the night that Vanessa resuscitated him, Vanessa and the two other survivors leave to go kill the druggie who again he's named Jackson he's currently at some rehab facility and he's also the wealthy son of some rich guy so Vanessa and crew are planning to kill the druggie but within Vanessa has a change of heart the two other survivors that are with her Taylor who was her friend and supervisor and officer Jerry also come with her um, Taylor initially agrees that what they're doing is crazy and then the other guy, Officer Jerry, is paranoid and has gone crazy and ends up threatening to kill Vanessa and pin the druggie's murder on her if she doesn't go through with the plan. He says, we got to give him to death. And then Vanessa ultimately says, no, recognizing that they cannot do this. They cannot take a human life. Taylor and Officer Jerry end up starting fighting over the disagreement because Officer Jerry is all fine with killing Jackson. Vanessa, meanwhile, while those two are fighting, is trying to save the druggie. He ends up getting shot while they're fighting, though, and it more or less becomes this scream finale in a way. Tara and Officer Jerry end up falling out of a window during their scuffle. They recover and continue fighting. A storm is raging on in the background while all this is happening. Then death must have had enough of this and sent a tree branch to crush Taylor, splattering him all over the grounds. Jerry goes back into the building to kill Vanessa and the druggie, but is shot in the back of the head when another gun falls and goes off. Vanessa successfully saves the druggie who apologizes for his actions and he's taken to jail. So what's ironic about this is he ultimately is still alive, even though he was supposed to be dead from the get go. Months pass after this. Vanessa is living life pretty well. She's enjoying and outside lunch with her mother when some emergency happens and some random kids are almost hit by a car so Vanessa comes to their aid and they ultimately end up being fine then all of a sudden some cement truck goes haywire and comes speeding down a steep hill running people over and heading straight for Vanessa's mom when she pulls her mom out of the way it crashes into a nearby restaurant. Vanessa checks on her mom, and just when she's about to say something, a loose street light that was hit by the truck falls and crushes Vanessa's head right in front of her mother. And that would have been the end of the movie. Now, that is a mother's worst nightmare. Given that this is a horror-centric channel, I wanted to reveal how the ending of Final Destination 6 could have gone with you here today if we would have gotten the Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton screenplay, and that is how it would have ended. So again, keeping in line with what we've seen in the past, your survivor or the person who has the premonition at the start ultimately ends up dying anyway in the end. Uh, it's a running gag with the series at this point. Uh, so jumping into the update regarding their upcoming Universal Pictures film, Radio Silence, that being, which is more or less titled Abducting Abigail. I don't even think they revealed the official title officially. They're still calling it the Untitled Universal Monster Movie, but it was revealed some month or two prior 
like a like a week or the week of release for Scream Six, we found out it was up abducting Abigail, and that it was going under the working title of Dracula's Daughter. But some casting updates have come out. Catherine Newton is now in it. If you know Freaky, Paranormal Activity, and recently her contribution to the MCU, you know who Catherine Newton is. Uh, Angus Cloud, Fazco fans out there, you know who that is. And Will Catlett have been set for the Universal Pictures Untitled Monster Thriller from Radio Silence. And the Abducting Abigail movie actually has a release date now, according to Variety. This will be released on April, 20, April 19th of 2024. They, of course, are joining Melissa Barrera, who has already worked with Radio Silence on previous screen movies, Scream 5 and Scream 6, Alicia Ware, Dan Stevens, and Kevin Duran, who are also already casted to star in this upcoming thriller. Radio Silence, we know, is comprised of Matt Benelli Open and Tyler Gillette. Chad Vallella is producing alongside William Chirac, Paul Neenstein, and James Vanderbilt at Project X Entertainment. The script was written by Stephen Shields with revisions by Guy Busick. Now, the small theory I had about Scream 7 is that what if they're taking the opportunity to at least kind of gauge if they want any of these people to join them in Scream 7? If I had to pick somebody, I think many of you would agree, give us Catherine Newton in Scream 7. I would love to see Catherine Newton join the Scream franchise. Uh, you guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.